Hello, Yawning Angel back again with another Amos video and this video is slightly different. This time it's not a coding video but more of an announcement about a very small uh, Amos Utilities program which I've written which I'm going to be making available on my website for download so there'll be a link appearing down here somewhere. Um, basically over time I have created a few utilities which help me in my coding process, helping me to understand things, uh, what the program is doing and where certain values are. And I've pulled all this together into one concise program, uh, which I want to share with you because it may be of use to other people out there. I'm not saying it's brilliant, but it may be of use. Um, so things like uh, trying to find out graphic coordinates on the screen, hardware coordinates on the screen, uh, the colors available to you in your program and the hexadecimal values of those colors uh, which are in your program. So uh, without further ado, let's dive in and have a look. But before we get going, I did want to say, I know there's a number of people at different skill levels who watch these videos, some beginner programmers and some more experienced AMOS programmers. I just wanna stress, these are little utility routines that I've written to help me, and they do work for me and I get a lot out of them, hence me wanting to share them. Some of the more experienced AMOS programmers out there might not get as much mileage out of these utilities. You may have your own way of doing this kind of thing as well, or completely different ways of doing it. It doesn't matter. I just wanna share this utilities program with people who maybe struggle to try and understand and get these values out of their program while they're coding. And if they can be of benefit, then that'll be brilliant. I'll be a happy person and hopefully, hopefully others will be as well. So there you go. Right, so here we are in Amos and the program source code is yawning underscore Amos utils underscore one dot Amos. That's the source file which you can download from my website. Uh, so what you want to do then is uh, select that and load that in. Here's the source code, bit of a disclaimer at the top. We'll go into the source code in a, in a moment, but uh, let's just get the program running so you can see what it does. So once it's loaded, I press F1 to run the program and I'm presented with this uh, frame here with a number of options. Well, four to be exact. Now I just want to stress here that each one of these uh, buttons uh, showing these options the code for this is written in such a way that you can just lift that code out of this program and transplant it straight into any code that you are doing. So you don't have to have this program running uh, while you're trying to code your own stuff. You can just lift these procedures out. And uh, I'll show you how that is done in the code in a moment. But first of all, let's get on with what these buttons actually do. First button is hardware coordinates. So when you click on it, all the other buttons are disabled and you can see here your X and Y values changing as you move the mouse around the screen, showing you your hardware coordinates. Click on it again to come out and then click on graphics coordinates. So these are your graphics coordinates and as you move your mouse, your X and Y values change accordingly. So you can take a note of what these are should you need them. Click on that again, uh, Control is passed back to you, and now we've got these last two buttons here. So we've got color palettes. When I click on that, it shows me colors 0 to 15. So I'm running the screen in 16 color mode, and it shows me what the colors are. Very useful if you can't remember what number relates to what color. You know, for things like your ink, your pen, uh, and your paper colors, and the rest of it. Click that again, that goes away, and the final one is hexadecimal color values. So I click on that and here we go. It shows me my color values 0 to 15 because I'm running a 16 color palette, but then it shows me my hexadecimal values for those colors. Very important if you're messing around with sprites and you're changing the colors of those sprites from the default color palette. You will need this. Um, so. And that's it really, and then click on that again, that goes away, and that's really all that does. And we click on exit, and the program exits. Really quite simple stuff. So, back in the code then, so let me show you, I'm not gonna show you all the lines of this program because this is not a tutorial video. If you wanna go through this program and pick it apart in your own time, you're more than welcome. Um, so there's a lot of setup stuff in here, but what I'm gonna do, uh, we can ignore some of these procedures. We have a procedure um, that sets up the, the screen. We've got our main uh, loop routine here, but let's go down to, um, ba, ba, ba. here we go, the procedure here to show the hardware coordinates. 
So basically the way this is written, what you can do is copy the code in this procedure to your own program, except the parts labeled ignore. Code labeled ignore is unique to this program only. Okay, so if we have a look at this procedure then, let me just move up here, oops. Um, so for hardware coordinates, so we look here, we can see all of this code I can take. This line here is commented out to say, or commented to say ignore. And then we've got an entire block here, which we don't need. So we don't need the whole procedure. We just need the bits that aren't labeled ignore. So what I'm going to do, uh, I'll show you how this works. So I go up to this line, I press control B on the keyboard. And then I sort of curse uh, with my mouse, with my mouse, with the arrow keys, I move down. And basically I'm going to take all of that code. I'm then going to hit control S to store that. And what I'm going to do is open up a new blank window and I'm going to hit control P to copy that code in. I don't need that line, so I can put the, the cursor there and hit control delete. Um, and I think I need something else off of here, so I've copied that. I don't need that code there, because that's and I need the loop statement here, which I can just type that straight in uh, down here. Loop, uh, F3 just to tidy that code up, and then just simply press uh, F2, there's no errors, and press F1, and here we go, I've got my um, hardware coordinates showing in a brand new program, and I've just lifted that code straight out, copy paste, and off we go. This isn't tidy, you see that you know, there's some flickering going on here because I haven't set the screen up, I haven't turned the cursor off and all the rest of it, but you get the idea, it is quite easy just to lift the code, dump it into another program, and have it run. So to get out of here, we need to do Control C, which we do, takes us back and really it is that simple um, really straightforward so the next routine then I'll tell you what I can do I can just get rid of that uh, not saved uh, don't want to save that so get rid of it uh, graphics coordinates exactly the same we've got the code here uh, you'll need your do you need this bit you need that bit you need that um, and that's really all you need off of that one so what we can do quickly is let's just copy that. So I'll do control B and we'll grab that code. Control S to store it. We'll do a new window. We'll do control P, that paste that in there. Uh, then we'll come back here. So that's all ignore, which I don't need. And I just need the loop statement really. So uh, let me do loop, F3 to tidy it up, F2, no errors run the code, and these are my screen graphics coordinates that's running quite merrily in another program. Control C gets us out of it, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is effectively it. Same again for your uh, colors, um, and same for the hex color codes. It's all commented so you know what to take and what not to take. Um, something to bear in mind when doing the colors, so I do actually put this in the code here, is this program is using 16 colors. If you're using 32, you need to adjust the code. You're going to need to change this, this loop here. So for 16, it's 0 to 15, but for uh, 32 colors, you're looking at uh, changing that to, from, uh, to 0, sorry, for n equals 0 to 31, which will give you the 32 colors and I've put that in here. You're also going to need to adjust the print position as well, depending on the resolution of your screen, because otherwise it'll print off the screen. But I'm sure you can do that. It's all fairly straightforward stuff. Uh, same for the hex color codes. And you can take a look at the commands that we use to get that. There's a rather useful hex string command here. Take a look at that and see how that works. And that is it. So, yeah, it's all really straightforward. I hope you get a lot of mileage out of this and it is of some use. And that is it for another video. Thank you ever so much for watching. I really hope this has been of benefit to you. Don't forget, you can download the source code for this program from my website, the address down below here. So 
I just want to say a thank you, really a wider thank you for all the support these videos have been getting. I've been getting a lot of great comments and a lot of great feedback about them as well. So I know they're of use to some people and I've understood that there are people of different Amos programming skills out there. So they're not of use to everyone, but if you can get something out of them, hey, it's all good. Um, you can find me on the Twitter, the Mastodon, my website, and I'm on Ko-fi as well. If you want to offer me some support there, that's great. All the addresses probably scrolling up the screen now as we speak. I want to say another big thank you to amiganews.de who always put links up to these videos when they come out and it's really, uh, really appreciated. So thanks ever so much guys. Right, so the next video is going to be about sprites in Amos. Uh, so look forward to that, that'll be coming soon. So thank you once again for all your time. Uh, if you like this, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos, uh, have a look through. There'll be a playlist up here for my Amos videos. Um, and subscribe to my channel if you wished to. So without further ado, I must go now. So thank you ever so much for your time. Take care of yourselves. Whatever you do, keep it retro.